Hey guys, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. You guys have been so sweet commiserating with me about my failed uh, New Orleans fabric. <laughs> I'm getting over it. I'm still sick about it, but I'm getting over it. I, um, I've had a lot of suggestions of what to do with it. And I'm going to, um, I'm just going to bag it up into, you know, whenever I have uh, uh, clothing Garment fabric scraps that are, uh, you know, they're still viable. I only bag them up and throw them into a bin I call doll clothes. And if I get around to making doll clothes, fine. If I don't, well, um, I'll goodwill them or I will uh, garage sale them or whatever. So. so sometimes when, you know, life goes wrong, uh... You just got to get back to do something you you know you're good at, or you, at least you're kind of good at, at least. So I had, <clears throat> don't know if y'all remember, uh, beginning of December, I showed you, it was a Jelly Roll Race pattern. I got stuff everywhere, sorry. See how my camera went blurry? Hello? I ordered a video camera. <laughs> It'll be here Monday, Amazon Prime. Um, supposedly it has, um, good sound and it's Wi-Fi and it has a remote and all that. It was only like $129, not too bad. So some of you have told me that you want to start YouTube channels as well. So I had saved this for last. I wrote a little list of what I want to talk to y'all about. Sorry about my bad hair. I washed it this morning. I just let it go. I tell you what, if I blow dry it, I look like Mufasa. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Thick, curly hair. Anyway, so um, I had saved this for last, but um, I was looking around for uh, good YouTube video editing software because um, Windows Movie Maker, eh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't trim out of the middle. You know, it'll, it'll shorten the beginning where you make sure everything's right and then it'll shorten the end but I it, if it does trim out of the middle I haven't figured out how to do that so and I have a Windows 10 machine so there was this software I found called Filmora by Wondershare and I thought um you know I'm I work in the IT world and I kind of that doesn't mean I know how to work the software I still don't but I, I read all the reviews on it. I read up and down and I thought, okay, I think that this will work. So I bought it and it's uh, $60 for a lifetime license. So you can continue to get updates and whatnot. They have a free version. And then I, I think they have another annual fee that's like $25 or something like that. So 60 bucks for a lifetime is a deal for me because I know I'm going to need it for more than a year. So when I first got it, I downloaded it and did all I was supposed to. Well, I put a little window like so big. When I went to launch it, they put a little window up in my corner of my screen. That was it. The, uh, the, the little minimize button, the minus sign, didn't work. The little square, maximize, didn't work. And the X to kill it didn't work. I had to go into Task Manager, Control-Alt-Delete, Task Manager, and, and quit Filmora. What is that about, right? So I emailed the company and I said, hey, what gives? And they said, oh, 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 yeah, that's a bug. We know about that. Uh, give us two weeks. We're working on it. And I'm like, okay, fine. So I waited two weeks and I'm like, hey, two weeks, come and go. I'm not like on the dot responsive with this. I give them a couple days later because honestly, I didn't have time. So a couple days goes by and then, you know, after the two weeks and uh, I said, hey, what's up? And they said, oh, we're going to have a new version out in two days. Please be patient. I said, no, I don't want to be patient. I want my money back. No, no, no. They, they emailed back and said, well, uh, if you want, because of your inconvenience, you can have these two free feature packs. And features are like, I don't know, stars and music and all kinds of crazy stuff, whatever. And, and I said, uh, look, why do I want features for something that doesn't work so they said please be patient we're going to release a new version here shortly 
So, and they had given me some workarounds. You know, they said, you can try this and try that and blah, blah. And I went and did all this. said, nothing worked. Nothing worked. And then finally I told them, I said, look, I have a blog and I have a YouTube channel and I'm fixing to unload on y'all, you know, go big or go home kind of thing. Please, please, please. They said, wait until Friday. We're releasing a new version on Friday. So I went on Friday or maybe it was Saturday or it was a day or two after they said they were going to have it fixed, fixed. I go, I open it up and it's version 9044. I open it up. Still bad. I go to help and, you know, do I have the latest version? Yes, you do. Oh, I was mad. I emailed him again and I said, I've had it. I'm fixing to go, you know, nuclear on you guys. Well, sure enough, like a day later, I got an email from them that says, we've done it. Re-release version 905. Please download it, you know, and all that. So I did. And it, um... I got rid of the old version, uploaded the new version. It's Filmora by Wondershare, okay? And it um, it launched pretty good. It took up the whole screen and the little minus and box and, you know, the minimize, maximize, and close out work. I haven't played with it yet. Um, in a lifetime ago, I used to be a... Uh, CBT, continuing, continu continuing CBT, continuous based education. I can't read computer based education, computer based training. See how long ago that was a CBT. I used to be a, a developer for CBTs and, um, we used a program back then owned by Macromedia, then Adobe called, um, flash. And this looks a lot like flash and it looks like it behaves a lot like flash. It's got you know, a bar for the sound, a bar for the video, a bar for any effects you want to add in or whatever. So I haven't played with it yet, but I'm going to when I get my new video camera. So that's all about Filmora Wondershare. Uh, the jury is still out on that, but I will let you guys know how well it works. So anyway, um, back to my Christmas quilt. I had done, it was just a simple jelly roll race pattern, two and a half inch strips just sewn end to end and uh, quilted it and the quilting pattern is called continuous trees can you guys see those that was just real pretty I didn't want anything super dense it's real soft and cuddly I don't remember the name of the two and a half inch roll strips I'm sorry something poinsettia Christmas poinsettia maybe I might have said it in another video when I when I showed you guys the top the backing is um it was a 108 inch Christmas green fabric. Oh, you can see the trees real good on this. See that? I think that turned out super pretty, super pretty. Loved it. There's my bucket of binding. <laughs> so, got that. What else was I gonna talk to you about? Oh, you guys asked me about my quilt planner. Yes, Harley. Hello, baby. Oh yeah, you're mama's girl. Hello. So I had mentioned before I had a quilt planner and, um, it is Lori Holt's Scrappy Project Planner. I actually bought this last year. It, I No, I bought it in the winter of 17. I think that they had, I found it on sale or something somewhere. And so see that, and it's got all these different things you can do in it. And I put 2018 right here in my name. And what I really wanted to do with it is it has a weekly planner in here. And I put it, the important dates in. But what I did was I started a diary. January 1st. See? I started a diary of anything that I did that had to do with stitching something. Whether it was, um, focus, you, focus. One of the benefits, though, of having it in the phone is it's really easy to upload to YouTube. I've got the YouTube video converter app on here, and it just does it, and within minutes, it goes. So, but anywho, so I, went, I actually stuck with this. 
I mean, I, I was good. I stuck with it. Here I'm in April, you know, here I'm in June, May, June. Here I'm moving over to September. In, in September, I started to kind of fade. I got a few things, but you can tell we're missing some dates in September. I made it all the way through to like, I don't know. There's October, um, maybe through Halloween. There's November 5th. Quilted two rows on Christmas scenes. Did a YouTube video. <laughs> and that was my last entry, November 5th. My birthday came up after that, and then Christmas and the holidays, and you know how it goes. And um, so I don't know if I'm going to do that again. Um, work got crazy right around then, too. You know, I used to just sit in the evenings and just jot a few notes. Even if it said just watch YouTube videos, watch Joy on YouTube or something. Did y'all see her most recent video? <laughs> She's talking about that red top. She's all showing the neckline, and now I'm like, oh, you're showing your bra straps, too. <laughs> oh, my God. I love her. She's awesome. I'm going to go see her. Um, we email, and we text, and, uh, of course, we know each other right now over videos, of course, and we chat on the phone. So uh, I think one day this, one weekend this summer, I will probably uh, fly up to Oklahoma City. She'll... Joy, you have to pick me up at OKC, okay? I'm not going to Uber. She asked me in an email, what's Uber? <laughs> God bless her heart. <laughs> so, anyway, it's a private taxi, Joy. <laughs> and they're cheap, much cheaper than a taxi. But um, I think that's it. I don't have anything else. I was working on those pot holders. And... Uh, you like this? This is the scrap fabric from, um, I cut it out with the scan and cut. This is a scrap fabric from the backpack that I made to go to the Houston show. And I, I probably am not going to use the flower pattern. The one on the canvas showed to use um, a solid color. I might. I don't know. Might finish it. Might not. Doesn't care. Don't matter. I, I have a pattern for the crosshatch, and I had an old quilt fabric scrap for the backing. If they're not pot holders, they'll be trivets. Meh, whatever. Okay, guys, that's it. So, you guys keep on stitching. Bye.